How's it going, guys? My name's iAlien, and today I'm back on another Identity 5 video. Today I will be going over the best build in the game for Hunters. Let's get right into it. Okay, so let's get into the best build in the game for Hunters, in my opinion. It's even named Matter. So, you go all the way down and all the way to the right. By going all the way down, you get increased ac attack recovery speed by 10%. Movement speed is increased by 5% when a survivor is placed on a rocket chair. You gain 10% attack recovery speed and 8% movement speed when the exit gate is activated, which is very good. Um, that 8% movement speed is good for when the exit gate is activated. It lasts for 120 seconds and it synchronizes well with the tension. Lethal strikes are activated when the exit gate is powered on. Can incapacitate survivors with one shot. The effect lasts for 120 seconds. This is a must have trait. Any hunter has to have this trait. This has saved my butt so many times. Literally in every match that the exit gate gets open. Without this trait. I would have lost or I would have tied. Um, sometimes I will teleport to an exit gate and they don't know I have detention. So they will just be playing around, taunting me. And then they get one shot. And then I win the game. This is how good this trait is. You have to have it. I don't care what build you do. You should have detention. Then I go all the way to the right. And by doing this, I get... Uh, Owl reduces the survivor's scope of a successful calibration within the fear radius by 30% when they are decoding, healing, and destroying. Um, this is for if the, their heart starts beating and I get close to them, the little bar gets decreased by 30%. When a survivor Within 32 meters alerts a crow. The crow will guide you to the precise location of the survivor. This is a good trait. Any trait that lets you see survivors is just good. Is good. Next, movement speed is increased by 15% when balloons are tied to survivors. This really helps out for when if uh, it's tough to get to a rocket chair. This helps them to not struggle. I really like this trait. And lastly, wanted order. When a survivor is placed on a rocket chair and the remaining three survivors are healthy or incapacitated, the outline of a random survivor is shown for a short period of time. The outline will last for 25 seconds after the survivor on the rocket chair has been saved. This is a very good trait. I was deciding on what I wanted to build, which bottom trait I wanted, or if I wanted to just go average with everything. The reason I picked that trait is because the other traits simply are not too good, in my opinion. Insolence is, make, is not good at all, especially on the clown. <clears throat> it serves no purpose to have this trait. On uh, maybe the gamekeeper, it would be pretty good. But if you're good at finding survivors, you don't need this trait. And lastly is confined space. This is a very good trait. When vaulting windows, the hunter can block the window for 20 seconds. Basically, this doesn't. This stops when the spamming of like thieves thieves or forwards or mercenaries when they're trying to distract you and they keep jumping over the same window over and over again like you know the inside areas this stops them 
But honestly, for me, it just wasn't worth it. Not to say this is not a trait you should get because it is. This just not does not fit my play style. And when I used it, I didn't really get too much use out of it. While I do get a lot of use out of this trait, warranted, warranted Order. My extra traits are announcement survivors are highlighted for five seconds when the exit gate is activated. This is a very good trait, almost must have. This helps you know which exit gate to teleport to or to go by because whichever direction they're going or whichever exit gate they're by, you can teleport to there or get there. And with the tension, you can one shot them. Now, this trait can be countered by survivors by simply not moving and not facing any direction or just spinning around. But most survivors are not going to do that. They aren't going to think to do that. So this trait is, for me, must have. Then I have Lurk. The outline of the cipher machine is highlighted when within 24 meters of a cipher machine being decoded. This trait you would think doesn't really do anything since you can already see if a cipher machine is being decoded but I do like it a lot because while you are moving to a cipher machine and the screen is already shaking from you moving it's tough to pinpoint whether then the cipher machine is wiggling as well if you are standing still it's easy to see but if you are moving it's tough so this it highlights a yellow and this helps out next i have deer hunt displays incapacitated survivors within 18 meters this comes in handy a lot when you hit one survivor and then you go chase another one and maybe you didn't get them or whatever you need to go find them this helps a lot to go get them and last is Tinnitus, if that's how you pronounce it, receive a prompt when the survivor is within 36 meters. This is a must-have for anything, but it is a good trait. It helps out. And when you look at the other traits I could have picked, this is basically the best one, maybe except for Deteriorate, which is very good, or Eye for an Eye, which is very good, but if you can track footprints, you don't need Eye for an Eye. Impact is uh, okay. I don't really like it. And I don't need Wicked Hound. I can already track their footprints well enough. So you can exchange it for Deteriorate. And this is a good trait to get. But I personally use 10 of this. So now that I showed you the build, let's actually get into a game as Hunter. So I can show you it in action. So the hunter I will be using is Smiley the Clown, aka Joker. Uh, I'm sure if you've played any type of high rank matches in this game, you see him 95% of the time. Uh, he is definitely the best hunter in the game. He's also very cheap. The gamekeeper can be very strong if you know how to use him, but I like the clown a lot. He's my favorite hunter. I am saving up clues for Geisha when she comes out. I opted not to buy. I opted to not buy the Soul Weaver, even though I've seen people use her and me playing as Survivor against her. She actually does seem pretty strong, probably not as good as the clown. But she does seem pretty strong if you know how to play her. So I do actually want her a lot. And I may end up just paying the $13 or whatever it is to get her. So we found the match. Okay, so my recording program did cut out. So let's just re-film the game. So I can showcase to you. The best build for hunters. So the shapeshift. I, oh the 
shape shift I use is teleport. I do like this the best blink. I also like a lot, but the problem with blink is the cooldown is 150 seconds and the way I play. My play actually revolves around teleport. It revolves around teleport as I will show in the video. And I, at this point, I've been using it for so long. I can't not use it at this point. I can't live without it. So I am using the clown. I'm not sure if I said that before, but I am using the clown. You've probably seen him a lot. He is the best hunter in the game. And the wait time is pretty long. They said it was going to be 56 seconds. And it's already two minutes. <sighs> I don't know why it's this long. I'm not playing high rank or anything. I'm not sure if in casual they match you up by rank or not. They may still match you up by rank and if that's the case i can see why it's taking a while okay i was actually about to cut the video but you found the match so we're facing the mechanic two doctors and a forward with the fireman skin, which I tried to get in the new essence, but I didn't since he's my favorite character. But now I want to be, now I want to win even more. So the mechanic and the forward are both top tier characters. I will have TLS videos coming out for both survivors and hunters, and the doctors are not too good and especially two of them those will be my easy targets to get out first because they don't stay on the chair that long plus oh I was about to say plus she switched to garden so yeah those are the two characters I want to get on the chair first she just switched I don't know who she should switch to I think the gardener possibly um, because they don't have long persistence also the forward will do well I wouldn't want to get the mechanic out first because then I would be forced to camp the entire time so she, she switched to gardener and I got lucky by her being here already but I don't know why she switched to gardener the Gardener is one of the worst characters in the game's lagging. Worst characters in the game on the... Yeah, the game is lagging very bad. Okay, so... This is good, the lag. Nice. Okay, so I don't know why she switched to Gardener. That was a horrible decision. Um, but she's just making my life easier. So I did get lucky off the bat by her, by the doctor being, ah, uh, he hit me, right here. And he has Ty Turner, and he hit me again. He's a, he's actually pretty good. But I don't think that this doctor is very good. But. Um, she forgot what I was saying. She may escape. No. And he's a, he's a good forward. But unfortunately for him, his teammate sucks. And there goes one at order. 
right there. As you can see, I can I could see the where the Ford was. Um, through he's highlighted. So this probably is going to be a very easy match, to be honest. Whenever you may have someone down and there's four remaining, you're in very good position. Who is this? Oh, the other doctor. I did go back just to collect the propeller. I'm probably not going to hit her, but this will help me catch up. And I actually did get the lucky hit with it. You can. I thought she was going to try and put it down. It wouldn't even matter because this game, you can hit people through the pallet. I'm not going to put her down right there because in case they do open the exit gate, I want that chair right there for me so that. I'll be able to camp that exit gate and uh, see the person right there as well. They probably won't get that far, but hey, why not? So, no machines. Okay, no machines are being done right now. He's down. Doctor just got saved. Okay. I saw the doctor go the other way. I'm just going to chase the gardener. Yeah, I baited her out. That's an obvious bait. She took it. Do keep in mind these are probably lower tier players because most people aren't going to get bait out that easily. Please don't escape. Yep. Uh, the good thing about the clown. She's not that good. But the good thing about the clown is even if they do escape, you have your rocket. And as long as you install the propeller on before taking them. Damn, lots of lack. You're good. So let's see if anyone's decoding. Doesn't look like it. And people get mad at campers, but like... Right there, there was literally no reason for me to not be here. No one's decoding, nothing like that, so it makes no sense for me to leave. Uh, if I can, can I get the forward? Yeah, he's bad as well. So they do have. They did because she had the mechanic and he had the four. Four is that he seems to be a good player, but that was a maybe thought I was just gonna have the her in the balloon, but no. Right here, I think he used up his ability to um, save himself, so I can leave right now. If I see a machine being decoded, I will teleport there. But none are. And she's right here. See the footprints. There she goes. Wow, he got safe. The second. Literally the second the gardener uh, went in. He's a second too late. Shit. 
There goes his footprints back there. Nice. Let's go ahead and go back. And now can I get my Okay. I'm gonna go through. I'm gonna bait him, bait him one more time. And now hit him with the rocket. And now he's down. This time I will bring him to the cheer. Oh no, this isn't the chair by the gate. So now if I see a machine being decoded, I'll teleport there. Because there's no risk in anyone saving him. Two, three, four. Looking for the f oh the fifth one, no. I don't know if this one's been done, but there she is. I'm gonna let her save him and just hit him and then finish him off. But that does happen sometimes where the game auto locks you onto the wrong person. She also has tire training. He doesn't have the football. If he did, he'd be able to escape pretty well. So now he's done. If the doctors found the dungeon, she will escape, but we will still win. But if she hasn't, the crows will get to it and then we'll chase her. She's not decoding. Yeah, she found the dungeon. So, GG. We did get the win. He wasn't even able to see the full abilities of the build as, like, the tension. You wasn't able to see that. But do trust me, it does. Uh, it does work. And I will have ranked, high ranked hunter gameplay for you in the next few days where you will be able to see this build in action against even better competition as this competition i'm not going to lie wasn't the best but me being the 64th hunter i do face lots of great composite co competition and compositions team compositions um that are much higher skilled and much better players so do keep a lookout for that video if you are interested in high hunter play and in this build because i do use it on all my hunter videos if this video was informative in any way if it did help you out please like the video and please subscribe to the channel as i am on the road to one hundred subscribers and that'll be all bye